Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a copy of an existing Azure virtual machine. So for this demo, I have created a virtual machine named First VM. So let me show you the details of this First VM. This virtual machine is in the subscription named Subscription One, which is located in Central India. The name of the resource group is TK-RG, and I have just single virtual network name of the virtual network is sub one hyphen vnet and for now it has only one subnet which is the default subnet so these are the settings for the first vm ip okay ip it's going to be different let me make a note of it so dot 180 i'm already logged into this vm so let's create some files on this first VM. So when the VM is copied over, we are going to verify this file from the second VM. Let's name it test. This is our test VM. Let's put the timestamp. Let's save it. We are closing it. So once again, this VM, the IP address ends with 180 20 okay let's verify what's the computer name first vm so the computer name and the vm name displaying here it's the same So to copy the VM, to make a copy of the VM, there are two methods. First method is taking a backup of the existing VM uh, using the recovery services vault. And recovery services vault allows us restoring it to our disk or restoring uh, the VM with a different name. So this I have covered in one of my other videos. The link to that video, I'm going to put it in the link on the top left of this video. And this video, I'm going to show you the snapshot method. So for this method, I have an existing VM. The name is first VM. Now I go to the disk. This first VM has only got one operating system disk. There is no data disk. So let's click on this disk. I click on the create snapshot button. So my subscription name, I'll keep it the same as the existing one. Resource group also, I'll keep it the same as the existing one. The new VM I'm creating, let's name it second VM. The region is automatically the same as the existing one. In my another video, I'm going to show you how can you, how you can make a copy in another region. Then coming to the snapshot type, we have an option to choose between full or incremental. So if you are going to take a snapshot frequently, like every day, I would suggest incremental. And if you are going to take a snapshot just once, I would suggest full. So the difference between the two is, let's say if you are taking a full backup, full, I'm sorry, full snapshot, if you are disk content is say 100 GB your snapshot is going to take 100 GB so let's say next day if you take another incremental so incremental is going to be the difference it could be just 1 GB or it could be in few MBs so with incremental you are going to save a lot of cost however if you take a full snapshot on a daily basis it's going to be 100 GB daily which is going to cost much more so for this demo, since this is just a one-time snapshot, let's choose snapshot full. So source, as we know, we have clicked on the disk. So disk subscription one, this is my original disk name, storage type, let's keep ZRS. Encryption, we are fine with default encryption. Network access, let's keep it the same as a default. Tags are not required. Review. Let's click on create. So it's now 12.15. This should not take much time. So
so this was the first step we already had the vm then we went to the disk we created the snapshot of the os disk then from the snapshot we are going to create a disk yes so your deployment is complete i go to my snapshot i'm creating a disk with my snapshot so again my subscription name the current subscription name is taken as it is resource group i'm keeping it same just let me keep the name as second vm hyphen this so region is going to be the same as existing uh, snapshot availability zone we do not require an availability zone encryption we are fine with the default ones network access the default ones are fine tax not required anything else we are okay with the default options let's click on create this is also going to take about 2 minutes so we are done with this step we are also done with this step now once the disk is created from the disk we are going to create the virtual machine deployment is complete so this is the disk which is created let's click on create vm my subscription name my resource group name let's name it second vm so image image shows the disk which is a copy which is a snapshot of the first vm so size we are fine with the default one license we need to choose it it's going to be 2019 server os so let's choose server let's click on disk networking we are fine with the default virtual network this is same as the existing one let's click on next boot diagnostic it's not required for this demo for the new vm let's keep it as manual updates tax not required this may take about a minute so i'm still logged into my first vm it shows first vm ip address ending with 180 let's wait this might take about 2 minutes okay so it says your deployment is complete So let's go to the resources. Let's click on virtual machine. We refreshed. Earlier we had only first VM. Now we see another one. So earlier the IP address was one eighty. Let's log in to the second one. So we are logging into the second VM. for the first time okay so do i have the folder yes so let's open it yes i have the file name so this is when we created the file what's the time now 651 so it just took less than 10 minutes 
now let's verify the computer name since it's a copy the computer name is going to be the same So when copying the machine it has copied the computer name also however in portal there are two different names first vm and second vm but actually dot 80 is your first vm and dot 79 is your second vm if you can check this ip 20 193 239 179 20 193 239 179 so now going to this vm let's click on my pc properties so if this machine is in a work group doesn't really matter if you have two machines with the same computer name but if this machine was part of the domain you cannot have two machines on the same domain with same name so let's change it here restart later first VM will change the second VM after restarting this computer so this was my today's video if you found this video useful please like and subscribe to my channel for more such videos if you have any questions or any feedback please leave it in the description section below thank you so much for watching